Value City was an American discount department store chain that opened in 1917 and closed in 2008. Thank you for your suggestion. Friday and Saturday, it's Moonlight Madness at Value City with thousands of mind-blowing savings in every department. Part of a $2.2 million Billy the Kid buyout. Boys 4 to 16 denim jeans, not 20 to $22, only $12.99. Million dollar buyout. Girls 4 to 14 famous California maker separates, not 15 to $34, only $5.99. And boys famous maker screen print knitted fleece tops, not 8 to $12, knits $1.99, fleece $2.99. Shop Friday till 11, all day Saturday. The Moonlight Madness sale at all Value City department stores. Value City was founded in 1917 by Ephraim Schottenstein, a traveling salesman in central Ohio. Ephraim opened a brick and mortar retail shop on South Parsons Avenue in the heart of Columbus's South Side. In 1908, Ephraim and his father Heschel immigrated to the United States from Lithuania. They settled in Columbus, Ohio, where they started a business buying overstocked and outdated goods from local retailers and reselling them out of the carriage of their horse and buggy. Ephraim was apparently in the clothing business as early as 1909, and soon after he opened his store, E.L. Schottenstein Department Store. Ephraim Schottenstein had four sons, Saul, Alvin, Leon, and Jerome, and a daughter named Selma. The children all grew up working in the family store. One brother in particular, Jerome, was credited with orchestrating much of the growth of the corporation in later years. By the time Jerome was a teenager, he was taking trips to New York and making buying decisions for the store. Jerome became an executive in the Schottenstein stores in 1946. By the early 1950s, the Schottenstein retail empire encompassed the original Schottenstein store and several furniture stores. But at that time, the company began to get involved in the liquidation business, bidding on merchandise of failing area stores. From liquidating merchandise, the company moved to acquiring bankrupt businesses. In 1963, Schottenstein Stores acquired a failing store in Dayton, Ohio called... In 1963, Schottenstein Stores acquired a failing store in Dayton, Ohio called Concord City, and the next year bought another struggling store, Illyria City in Illyria, Ohio. Then, in 1966, the Schottenstein family acquired a store named Value City in Independence, Ohio. The family business continued to buy up bankrupt stores, and it gave them all the Value City name. This name conveyed the prime message of the stores, which was to sell at budget prices. Jerome Schottenstein became president of the Schottenstein Stores Corporation in 1972. He went on to become an almost legendary figure in retailing. He was an expert at buying liquidated merchandise and equally astute at turning around failing stores. The Value City chain grew in the 1970s by taking over floundering regional chains and reopening them profitably. Some were closed and reopened under the Value City name, while others, SCC, funded and gave management assistance in exchange for a percentage of the business. SSC turned around bankrupt chains such as Valley Fair Whitman in New Jersey and Levine's in Texas. Most of the company's operations centered in the Midwest, in relatively small towns within 250 miles of Columbus. The company owned extensive real estate in and around Columbus, Ohio, where the firm was headquartered, but Jerome Schottenstein sometimes roamed far afield in looking for juicy liquidations. In the early 1980s, he bought and sold the discontinued product line of flamboyant and bankrupted car maker John DeLorean. Schottenstein also sold overstocked Fiat cars. 
While most of the Value City stores operated in relatively small towns such as Lima, Ohio, Schottenstein Stores Corporation also bought chains in big cities such as Weebolts in Chicago. By the early 1980s, Schottenstein Stores were tightly controlled by the Schottenstein family. The Value City chain had grown to around 35 stores and it pulled in about $250 million annually. The company's furniture division, Value City Furniture, was one of the leading furniture retailers in the country. SSC also ran a chain of lawn and garden stores in the Philadelphia area, a drug and beauty aid chain, a chain of auto supply stores, and it also had a 50% interest in two mall-based apparel chains, Silverman's and American Eagle. The Value City chain expanded through the Midwest in the late 1980s. It opened nine stores in 1989 and then six more in 1990, bringing the total to 53 stores in 11 states. In mid-1991, Schottenstein Stores Corporation announced that it would take its Value City division public, offering a 25% stake in the business. The money raised would be used to retire debt. In 1992, Value City acquired a chain of 15 GB stores based in Johnston, Pennsylvania. Value City took over the stores and converted most of them into Value Cities. The Value City formula seemed to make it stand out even as the market filled with other discount chains such as Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Filene's Basement. By the late 1990s, Value City had grown to a chain of over 90 stores but the growth had come at a cost. By 1997, Value City was in a slump that had lasted for many months and had sent earnings spiraling down. In 1999, Value City took over eight stores from the Crowley's chain, which was in bankruptcy proceedings, giving it five stores in Detroit and three in Connecticut. Later in 1999, Value City acquired the inventory of the bankrupt Starter Corporation. You remember those jackets? Value City also purchased a chain of 14 discount stores in the St. Louis area, Grandpa. The company planned to reopen them as Grandpa's Value City. In the year 2000, Value City paid $16.1 million in cash and stock for Filene's basement chain. Retail Ventures was a holding company originally created in 2003 for DSW, which had been acquired by Value City in 1998. It also covered Filene's basement and Value City stores as well. By late 2006, Retail Ventures originally sought to sell the Value City operation to focus on its more profitable brands. The chain announced its intention in 2007 to sell up to 24 stores to Burlington. However, on January 23, 2008, Retail Ventures announced it was selling an ownership stake in Value City to newly formed VCHI acquisition company, the company continued to close selected stores through 2008 while revamping and reorganizing the merchandise approach in those which were retained. On October 27, 2008, Value City announced that the chain was filing for bankruptcy and that all remaining stores would close. The sales was completed on December 23, 2008. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.